everybody? How you all doing? Good, sir. Good. Right. I'm doing well. Welcome to the Command and Control Center of the uh, Liberty Star. Big bridge, lots of controls, uh, and that's some of the exciting part. You know, a few people have told me, oh, this, you know, the ship was built in 1980. It's uh, you know, older than the King's Pointer. But what I've been telling everybody is that this has been constantly upgraded, brought state-of-the-art equipment, overhauled. Uh, I almost think that NASA keeps everything ready to go into space at any time, and I think we're pretty close to that here. And uh, maybe, Joe, if you'd like to explain the exciting part for us, especially, we'll be the only maritime training facility that has a dynamically positioned ship. And uh, some of the things that they've done with that is pretty exciting. The, uh, as, as Chris had mentioned, um, this, this vessel was specifically designed to recover the solid rocket boosters from the space shuttle. After two minutes of flight, the boosters landed in the water about 135 miles offshore. And then they hit the water through a complicated deceleration process, and it requires divers to go in, put a plug in the bottom, we pump them out, and we tow them back. So there were a lot of unknowns at the beginning. Come on, you guys, come on. So we ended up uh, building a lot of versatility into the vessel. Um, it has, as Chris mentioned, controllable and reversible pitch propellers, meaning that you can control the speed of the engines and the pitch of the propellers independently. We put a water jet uh, bow thruster that applies thrust at starboard port up forward. 